There's a surprise. I wonder where that came from. <laughs> looking lovely. Thank you. Not looking too bad yourself. You've been a little bit cramped oh. in the corner here. Showing off your hairy chest. I was. There's <laughs> loads of screaming fans throwing themselves at the screen. I can hear the metal wand hitting it already. <laughs> uh, well. Here we are again. Here we are again, 15th of January. Welcome back to the channel. I'm Mad Morty. He is the Brom. Indeed you are. And we apologise for being a day late on the two weeks that we said we'd do, but it's close enough. Kind of, yeah. Yeah. Close enough. Close show, enough me the, show me the rule keepers and I'll change their minds. Oh, there's no rules. We said we'd try. <laughs> this is us, trying. We're good at it. But if we listen to Yoda, there is no try. There is no try. Yes. Mm. Do or do not, there is no try, I think, isn't it? Yeah, do or do not. This one's got barley leg. Yes, we'll come to that in a minute because we've got a bit of... Life. A bit of whipping to do, haven't we? Speak for yourself, Buster. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> right. Oh, right. 15th said, of January, um, this is floss tube number 36. Three and six. Three and six. Let's see if we can make it to... 62 by the end of the year. Oh, right. It'd be 26 to 36 yeah. is 53. Oh, no, I'm not doing maths this summer night. It's not that late. It's not even half past eight yet. I can hear the questions. The beanie is because it's cold here. However, not as cold as some of our friends over in the United States of America. What did she record today? Minus 12? Minus... I minus, think Carrie said it was minus 15 degrees centigrade. Minus ridiculous. Minus ridiculous, yeah. Mm. <sighs> just just so hence, bear thinking about it. The, the beanie's it? on because it's cold and the house it's, is an older house. It's, and it's, it's a little chilly. It's not yeah. cold, but it's just, we have a stone house. So when stone houses get cold, they get really cold mm. and they also get quite damp. Mm. But you're not here to hear us complain. Not Certainly not. No. Quite happy. On we're with the to, stitching. We're here to talk about stitching. Hand up. One, two, three. Well, you win, you go first. Oh, okay. You should have told me. I, didn't, I had no idea what we were doing, so, you know. Rock, paper, scissors. Oh, right. Well, you need which to which say... rock have you been hiding under? <laughs> you should have been starting a fight. <laughs> Tell a fight. <laughs> Put them up. Put them up. <laughs> I'm going to put you with one hand tied down my back. Right. <laughs> enough, enough. Right. Anyway, so I go first. Oh, okay. Right. So, um, I did. I can name a, that tune in one. <laughs> I did a floss tube on the first of January. I think it was floss tube number thirty-five, where I did a whip parade, um, and talked about plans and what have you. So this month, the idea was to do whip go, to do five days each on Nevermore and a Sleepy Hollow, which worked out quite nicely, and also to work on the Chatelaine and Siren's Lament. Um, and I forgot to bring down the Mill Hill kit I started working on, but I, I will throw a picture of it in here because it's not worth actually showing to you other than to say, this is what I did last Monday. <laughs> it's like 30 stitches or something stupid, maybe 60. Yeah. Um, so starting off, let's have a look at Siren's Lament then. This is what it looked like two weeks ago. Oh, God, here we go. <laughs> so I, um... Right, and, and here is what it looks like now. Bye-bye. Some considerable amount of work gone. So I've gone, as you can see, this, there's a big chunk gone there. Mm. <coughs> well, I say a big chunk. It's like there's a three. head. There is a head. So I've basically done those three columns there and this bit. It was a total of 738 tent stitches. Yeah, it's looking all right. It's looking very good. I envy your advancement on it. <coughs> it's mostly like two colours, two or three colours at the moment. So I did learn, I think, I think I've got the word right. I did learn a really good word last year. When you get a heaven and earth design chart where you've got blocks of colour, but they are two very colours. Two very colours, two colours very close to one another, and they they meld like a checkerboard. So you've got mm. a, a 
you, you do your first lot and there's scattered stitches but it looks almost like rain coming through and then you slot this other colour in it's called dithering <laughs> perfect <laughs> thank you yes i've had a bit of issue with that on badger no yes badger i'll come to that in a minute yeah it's not my turn yeah. so yeah so that's how far i've got the silence lament i think you're doing good um then on whip go we had sleepy hollow was called first well sleepy hollow nevermore both called together this is what sleepy hollow looked like two weeks ago and oh. i had done a considerable Whoa. amount of work on it Whoa. here is what it looks like now would you care to we Whoa. have a horse with a head yay looking good uh sleepy hollow put 528 stitches in so that was filling in bits around here and all of the horse's head put the horse just head. the chart in the horse looks shiny yeah it's fab yeah. it's proper fab yeah you've got the negative space here for the the, the boot and yes. the leg yes it's the invisible the man at the moment yes the invisible <laughs> man not not quite because then you just see horse no, it's not invisible the man he's and horse, he's the blue just man. the invisible man. Okay. Everything he sits on doesn't become invisible. My point exactly. Yeah, so... Because everything he sat on has gone invisible. Oh, I see. Yeah, you'd see the saddle. And <laughs> Yes, of course. Yes. So anyway, so 528, that is whip go square number very 20, nice. whatever it was. Very, very nice. Two, I think it was. Off. Don't know, can't help, don't do it. The next up is Nevermore. So five days on Nevermore. I've only done three so far, so I've got two more days to work on it. This is what it looked like last time. And this is what it looks like now. So we actually have a lot more burb. Mm. And I have put in the first of the Quaker logos, emblem thingies. There we go. Ha. Like that. No, it doesn't um, it. The reason the reason why I did that was because it was just really really easy when i got to that row it was really easy to count off from that row yes. rather than have to go More back reference. in and go which row have i got to jump from mm. i just looked at it, it's like oh i'll do that one now and then that's the rest of the the rest of the world would be a much easier place i wasn't planning on doing any new starts until whip go called for a new start so my middle square square 13 is a the free square is for a new start this year and because one of the other pieces i my whip go goal is to finish it the the corresponding second square for that one is to brain words think um do another start so i wasn't going to do any new starts until it was called however i also wasn't going to do a stitch along however and then <laughs> let me find the picture it's right here by my knees uh. <laughs> by my knees hang on bear with me wrong one there we go we're a good bunch of stitches aren't we um the world of cross stitching at the end of last year brought this out mm. um it's their fault then I know what you're hashtag thinking. Hashtag blame the magazine. Hashtag blame magazines. Mm. Um, yes, I know what I know what you're thinking, uh, because when I put a picture up of it on Instagram, I think um, Rogue Mama Stitcher summed it up all for you. Pastels, Morty. I'm shocked. <laughs> oh yes, pastels. Oh dear. Um, I am going to be doing later on in the year. I think perhaps the new start should be pastels, Morty, um, Debbie. I think it is from. Um, Adam's family values. Yeah. I'm going to change it so it says pastels, Morty. <laughs> this is my pastel qu quota for, for, for the, the next decade. decade. Yeah, for the decade. So I saw that. I just pastels around here. I, I, if you saw the the, the season's greetings band sampler thingy that I did. Oh yeah, pastels. Yeah, that was that was pastels and and muted tones occasionally i do like them i don't always stitch all the dark horrible nasty wonderful things but so, we'd like to <laughs> like to like um to. excuse the crease in the corner it's where i ironed it to find the find the three inch in from the corner this is how far i've got on section one month one um, because obviously i've started it quite late and you can hardly see it because it's pastels <laughs> uh, um <laughs> <laughs> using the call for colour 
Um, I haven't talked about any of the fabrics so far. So Siren's Lament is on 25 count easy grid, even with Sleepy Hollow is 28 count. I'm reading it from the side here. 28 count Brittany even with by Sparkly's in Stormy Sky. Nevermore is on 18 count Adar in Feldspar by Picture This Plus, which I got from, I think it's the Primitive Hair. And that's on 18 count Fabric Flare White Adar. So quite a small count. Uh, yeah, I'd say. Um, it's still going to be quite big. So <laughs> just imagine how large it would have been. Right. So that is me done for my... For now. My whips. What's yours? Because nice. it's nice. Two weeks we've been a nice yeah, short. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's going to have to so, be short because our video is running low of battery uh, power. First one up is uh, what we're calling Roy. Um, if I'm lucky, Morty might put up a picture here now. Of what what it would look like and what it looked like last time we saw it Indeed. Um, during the Flossmas. And here it is. Um, not a great deal. Um, it's a fair bit because I, I checked it out earlier. It's and... a couple of squares. Oh. Hang on. Let me hold it like that. Yeah, you've done this bit here. Yeah, it's a couple of squares. Um, just repeat myself. Months and months of saying I don't really worry about the amount of stitches I've done. It's just the enjoyment of doing and the learning I'm doing going through. So this is Roy and I'm enjoying it. Looking forward to getting to do different colours. It's going to be very blue for a long time. Mm -hmm. well, pop that down. Oh, it's on 25 count easy grid. Yep. Yes. Right, let's do this one properly. Mm -hmm. Introducing my second one is Badger, mm -hmm. which is a John Stubbs edition of a heritage... Company's Heritage Stitchcraft. Yes. John Stubbs Stitch John Stubbs edition, yes. Um, it's on... It's on... 28 counts I got even with. It is. 28. Yeah. Count. You're stitching it over two. So I got... I'm switching two over two. And... Two this is what it looked like last time. Yeah, we're rubbish at this, aren't we? Bit about, but yeah, kind of out of practice, but not. But there you go. So anyway, there we. Are. Christmas got in the way. Well, Christmas did get in the way. We were doing it every yeah. day. Yeah, um, been working on the foliage <laughs> and things. Um, I've moved over the under the halfway. I'm working on the foliage this time. Um, what Morty was saying about what did you call it? Dithering. Yeah. Yeah, this dithering amongst the foliage and doing one set of green and then the second set of green. It gets me in a right pickle. Mm. I do. I dither about a lot. Um, <laughs> Um, but it's a lot of fun. I love I love stitching on badger. Yes. And then my last one is really a, a new. Well, sort of. I think you've done about seventeen stitches last yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, but so yeah, not been. I was going to say I sorted out. Before we get onto that one, do you want to show everybody what your John yeah. Stubbs one's going to look like? Well, John Stubbs will. Look like eventually, like that. What's your badger? What your badger will look? You look. see, what your badger will look like. Yeah, yeah. Working on a lot of green at the moment, which is okay. Yep. Um, um, the, there are companion pieces that go with it. We did. I did the the, the bar now. Yes. But there's also and a nice red squirrel. Squirrel. And a uh, robin, I think that is. Anyway, right. Yes. We'll pop that back. Right. So. Mr. Here is a big so, fan of Starry Night. Of Vincent uh, Van Gogh's Starry Night. I am, I am. Um, very happily and luckily was asked to be Van Gogh in a dance. To yeah, represent him. There you go. Yeah. This is what it will look like for those that aren't. We all know here. it, don't we? Everybody knows this picture. Yep. Um, it's a Benway Company picture. creation. Um, Benway. Not saying anything about it. If you've got you the Benway say, experience, you can say plenty about it. Actually, okay. Um, it started. It started out on opening it. The piece of fabric was the exact size about, of the picture. About half an inch, didn't we? Around yeah, it was not very much. So we had to scrap that fabric and get some others. Um, it's a standard um, fourteen count Ada. In off white. Yes, um, but then. Um, Looking at the um, floss chart, floss card, mm. um, the 
symbols. They've chosen to have two of the same symbol. It's not Like a big K and a little K. The hashtag. And a hashtag as a Nymans Morris um, thin skinny lines and a big fat. Tic-tac-toe. Tic-tac-toe. Norton glasses. Um, yeah. so several. One, one, the, one of the hashtags is bold and italicised and the other one is dead straight like mm. a tic-tac-toe board. And then there's a seven. They use a number seven, a white number seven on a yellow background and a white number seven on a blue background. And it's just you, keeps you on your toes. There are plenty of symbols to be used. We're counting them out, aren't we? And there's several that yeah. just... Yeah, it does not make sense. Big belief, anyway. No. It's... So this is what it looked like last time you saw it, which is about 16 stitches. Yeah, not many. Just a, a, just a start. And this is where you've got to now. This is where I'm at. Yeah. And for those of you who are um, um, skillful in the Royal Rose, I'm doing a sort of hybrid version of it. Um, mm. I'm trying to save floss. Um, so where the sun where the sun where the star is there that first star that you can see growing um i'm sort of not following strictly the royal rose i'm and you're using the kit aren't you using the kit floss yes i'm using the kit floss yes and, and it's not it's, pleasant it's dreadful it is it's so not pleasant i mean yeah this dog has it's yeah, not pleasant it um it is so fluffy it, it bobbles really easily just um I don't know how you to work with that, to be honest. It seems very nylon-y. But it's also like, I, you can't see it because I'm looking at it from this side with the light behind it and it is all, it's just so fluffy. You need some thread magic or something like that. I've got that. one. I, I'll uh, dig it out. I'll run it. Yeah, I've got one in the craft room. I think that might make a big difference for yes. you. Yes, 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 yes. Um, I have suggested to him that he scraps the kit and I'll replace it with a proper like no. heaven and earth design version or something, but he won't let no, me. No, do no, no, we've started and it's 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 an experience. It's an experience. I'm all about the learning and I have to it's crappy, see it through. It, I hate to say it, pardon my French, it's a crappy kit. I'm really sorry I bought you a crappy no, no, kit. No 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 no. It's not a crappy kit, it's just a kit that challenges the stitcher. Just an understatement. <laughs> So that's me. I'm done. Me too. So I've got a few notices. Mm -hmm. um, those people who watched the um, Flossmases and my whip parade. Oh, for months and months, for all of the floss tubes we've been doing, you've heard me say, I don't really care about counting the stitches I do. <laughs> so then I gave myself uh, a target, really, to do... 400 stitches each time a piece was out. Well, how can I count when I don't count stitches? So that was, yeah, so here that I am funny. eating humble pie and going, I'm going to change that. <laughs> that was funny. Mm. And like all good mimics, I'm going to just copy what uh, Morty has suggested. And each time it's a whip's turn, I'm going to do five days. Now I'm off work at the moment, not very well, um, limping and all that. I've been able to do five days on Roy. Five days on Badger, no. and now we're into the second day of Starry Night, and looking forward to this week getting some Starry Night done. So it'll be a five-day thing. Now, once I'm back at work, um, home at the weekends, we might only get a day, a weekend, so it'll be on the chart. But you've managed to put some good progress into all of them. I have, I have, and I'm just yeah. chuffed. But yeah. yes, so there'll be a rotation. Um, now other whips will be in inserted. But the rotation will be as you just saw. Mm. What? What did I miss? Something rude. <laughs> anyway, be moving an to, no, so I'm moving on. Moving on. Right, so I've got two more days of never more to do this month to fill my whip goals mm. up. Then um, I had said that what I would do, I'm also working on Sirens of Men and Chatelaine. I haven't done anything on Chatelaine yet this month, but I will do. Kind of got it set up now, so that's not be sorted. strictly your fault, though, is it? Because there's been a hindrance to getting to the chatelaine. Well, for, there's been a hindrance to getting to the chatelaine because he's had to sleep in there on the futon and the food has to come up and down and up. And down. So, anyway, we'll deal with that. Um, but mm. also, I've ordered the PDF because there is a section which is one over one stitches, they're quarter the size of a normal stitch in mm. the chart. 
um, and I've had to go and get better glasses <laughs> and get the PDF so that I can pop the PDF on my phone so I can make it all bigger and mm. actually understand it. So that's mm. done now. And um, so that Trixie. will commence. I'm going to start that tomorrow night. I'm going to do a week of um, stitching on the Chatelaine. Um, a la Bushy Stitches, Belushi Stitches. Sorry, Bushy, Joe. I'm sure. <laughs> Sorry, Good Joe. evening. So, hello. <laughs> Belushi Stitches, as she's been doing it, um, it's really good because um, her chatelaine came in parts. So mm. she got it as a, a whole, but it said like section one, section mm. two, section mm. three. Mine, it's the whole chart in four corners. Mm. There is no section one, section. So the approach for this one is slightly different. So it'll be interesting because she's mm. doing her section one, section mm. two. Mm. I'm doing mm. mine, I'm going to be doing mine in a round. Which is spiral outwards. Spiral which is spiral also spiral. what Joe's doing, but she's um, mm. she's got definite sections like the gates and what have you. Mm. Mm. So I'll be doing some of that. What else? Um, I did think I could pick whatever I wanted for the rest of this month once I'd done my whip go board, but then I started a stitch along. So I better <laughs> catch up with that for the rest of this month. Well done. Yeah, well done. Well done. Um, what else do I need to talk about? We've got two people who won magnets who mm. still haven't got in touch with me. Waiting for you. Elizabeth Aston and Barbara Bryce. Barbara Bryce is a life in stitches. If you are watching this, our lovely viewers, could you please get in touch with me? If I haven't heard from you by the end of by by the time we do the next frost tube at the end of the month, I will have to pick two different winners from the overall. Winner, mm. um, entrance mm, mm. unfortunately and i'd like nothing better than to be able to send those out to you mm. so if you could please 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 get in touch i need your addresses um because i don't keep them i'm fairly certain elizabeth might have won something previously but i don't keep addresses for people past sending stuff mm. out gdpr and all of that rubbish mm. um yeah. so that's that one thing we were going to ask our viewers we were Cross stitch bingo, yes. not whip go, proper cross stitch bingo. We were having a conversation about what charts and mm. designers. Yeah, if you wanted to sort of have a to have a collection of I've I've done this and I've done that and I've done one of them. Yeah. Mm. What would what you? What would your card be full of? What do you think should be in there? We yeah, think yeah. for a start, a Mirabilia, yeah, and or a Bella Filipina. And or an Aura Corbett, perhaps. Mm. And or a Passione Ricamo. So a fancy lady of some sort. Mm. A full Haid. coverage Haid. Or a full coverage. A full coverage of some Benway. sort, but probably a Haid. But probably a Haid, yeah. A long dog sampler. Yep. I said a bothy thread. Bothy thread. Something cool. fun, something cartoony, something... Yeah. Um... I'm going to throw it in here because I'm I'm just like I'm such a sucker, a, a texture treasures kit yeah. chart. Yeah. But not necessarily texture treasures because there are others. So Northern Needlework Expressions, for example, do mm. their twisted band samplers, mm. and there's a couple of other designers that do the counted thread embroidery. So a counted mm. thread piece like texture treasures Northern mm. Needlework. Who else? What else did we say? We wrote it down. We did. It's on a post-it note on the table. Do you want to go for this? Yes. I'll just dance and keep people entertained while we wait for mm -hmm. you because it's going to take a few minutes. You forgot it was going to hurt when you got out of the sofa, didn't you? One of those. Yeah. One's got the, the meals for the week and the other one's got the bingo. <laughs> I think it does, isn't it? <clears throat> Excuse him shouting and I've got floss tube nose. <clears throat> Excellent. Yeah, so we said full coverage, a chatelaine, long dog, modern folk embroidery. Yes, I think there should be an MFE in there somewhere, you're right. Yeah. Okay. Um, Teresa Wensler. Yes. Oh, yes, definitely. Teresa Wensler. Um, and I, that was all we came up with, so that was seven. So that mm. was Hayde, Teresa Wensler, a chatelaine, long dog, an MFE, Textured treasures or other counted embroidery. Fancy lady of some sort, like a Mirabilia or Bella Filipina, Shannon Christine, Passione Recamo, all of those. Joan Elliott, um, Bothy Threads. What ones do you think are a must? If you're going to do a full suite... Yeah, so that you are... 
experience in all designs. types. Designs. Mm. You don't get extra points for saying hair moon crafts. Uh, no. Love you guys loads, but don't pop that <laughs> in there. I've only released two. Third one's coming out in March. Is it only me in the world that doesn't know what MFE is? Modern folk embroidery. Modern folk embroidery. You do know what it is. I just it, you just didn't join the dots. Yeah, modern yeah. folk embroidery, of course. Yeah. So. Mm. And as I say, full coverage. And we haven't mentioned Darcy because you know. Yeah, there's lots of there's lots, lots of, of other new designers, designers and stuff. but where well, I'm talking but, like the big, the, well known Teresa yeah. Wensler. That gives you Chateau, a different experience. Long dog, MFE. Yeah. The big names. Mm. Who who have we forgotten? Um, who else? And do we how need many to put of on? those can you tick off? How many have you actually done of those? Mm. Um I've done Text of Treasures. I'm working on a Mirabilia. I'm working on a Chatelaine and I'm working on a Hate. So four. You've got a full coverage. Yeah. I've got You've a done a Texture Treasures. treasures. And a Bothy Threads. Bothy Threads, yeah. Yeah. Well, say Bothy Threads, any of the any of the cartoony ones. Um I don't know who the designers are that do the sort of Margaret Sherry, but yeah. Margaret Sherry did hers through Bothy Threads. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Yep. No, no, we'd like, love which, we'd love your input to just see like where your where your thoughts stitcher, are. On it. Witchy Stitcher, Night Spirit Studio, mm. Urban Stitches. They're mm. they're a Noctiflora, they're four of the biggies as well that I, yeah, I can yeah. think of. Yeah, but yeah. I'd like to know what yours are. Mm. And that's it, I think, this week. I think it is. It's us. That's us. Short and sweet. Ish. Nearly 30 minutes. Said, said 30 minutes. Yeah. Uh, you see. <laughs> so we'll so see you two Should we do the worms? You can do the worms. You do the first bit then. Oh, okay then. I, I can't remember. I hope you keep happy, healthy, no, happy, wealthy, wise and well. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and ring that bell. <laughs> well done. We'll see you next time. Hopefully in two weeks. Bye. Bye.